that finishes up week two. Um, I don't, I don't feel like I got as much done this week as the first week, which is crazy because the first week was only three days long. But I did get three yarns finished. I just have to skein them and wash them, so that was nice. I will say that I'm not super thrilled about having to film the identical spin of the same bobbins over and over and over again because these are all going to come out looking pretty much the same and I still have quite a lot of this fleece left. So next week, if I do less footage, that's why. It's not that I didn't spin, it's that it's the same thing over and over and over. And for me, the footage is pretty boring, so I'd imagine it'd be boring for you too. It's just the same gray bobbin again and again and again. <laughs> anyway, I'm already getting low on bobbins again. I mean, I only have five empties. So I guess I'll have to ply halfway through the poppy fleece, which makes sense. Planning on doing three ply for the poppy fleece, so ideally I want to have a multiple of three done of it before I start plying. Although I'm also going to do one ply of poppy with the North Shore bats. So maybe ten bobbins? I don't know. As for the spindle spun, I will finish the yak eventually. It's not a very comfortable spin for me. I am very bad at that type of luxury fiber. I struggled with Angora quite a bit as well, and it's a very similar texture. All right, now as for the, oh God, how do I pronounce that? Gamel Norsk Pelsow. Pretty sure that I'm going to just wind this off onto a nitty knotty and fin finish it that way. Um, I'm just letting it relax a little bit on the bobbin, I mean on the bottom of the spindle first, so that it's a little bit easier to wind off. I have no idea what I'm going to use this for yet. It's just a last little bit of Tunis X and it's so bright, but I want to ply it with something, I just don't know what. Now basically for the entirety of next week I have Poppy's Fleece to spin. Um, I am going to have to take breaks from that though because spinning the same thing every single day will get very boring. So I have just a few colorful fibers left to work through. Not a lot, but just something to intersperse occasionally to keep me interested and hopefully to keep the footage from being too boring. Now I will say that if you are doing Tour de Fleece for the first time and you happened to watch my video and watch all the way to the end, you should remember two very important things. The first is that the only person you're racing against is yourself, so all I actually care about is beating my record from last year. Maybe for you, you're just trying to reach a set goal or something like that. If it's your first year doing it though, don't stress about it because it's literally your first year. You have nothing else to compare yourself to, so don't worry about it. And second, make sure you take lots of breaks. Um, the way the weather has been here. It's been very, very hot and very, very humid. And while we do have air conditioning in our apartment, it doesn't really reach my studio, which is where I do most of my spinning, especially for the poppy fleece, because it has all sorts of bits of hay and stuff that I pick out while I'm spinning it. It gets very messy. I have to sweep a lot. Um, so it gets very hot in here. So what tends to happen is I spin in the morning while it's still cool, and I spin until it gets too sticky, and I stop, and I do a different hobby for a while, or I'll go out with my sister for a bit, or I'll have, and you know, take a break, and I'll come back to it, and I'll spin for, I don't know, maybe an hour or two in the late afternoon when it's cooler again. And then, you know, I stop for the night, and I get sore, or when, again, it gets too sticky, because obviously nighttime doesn't really fix the temperature much. If it's uncomfortable to spin, forcing yourself to spin is just gonna make you hate spinning. If it's too hot to spin, you shouldn't be spinning. <laughs> if it's too sore, like if your arms or your legs are really, really tired and you're still forcing yourself to spin, you're just gonna hate spinning. So definitely take breaks, get up, walk around, go to the bathroom, grab a snack, grab a drink, whatever. I try to take a break roughly every hour for anything I need to do. At that point, I change out whatever show I'm watching on my computer. I grab a drink, refill my water, whatever. So 
Sometimes I'll quickly eat a snack or I'll take a lunch break. Even on the days where I managed to spend more than five hours in a day, I took a break every hour. And you should definitely take breaks as well. So I think that's about it. Um, I'm going to go finish editing this up and I'll try to get it up for Monday, today, <laughs> filming this in the morning. And I hope to see y'all again soon. Bye.